Hey guys and today we will be diving deep into the VTuber rabbit hole and doing some random shit along the way. If you guys didn't know I've already gone too far into this and I can't escape the hole. No one can ever escape. Anyways guys today I will introduce to you Hololive VTubers per generation. Today we will review the solo generation or the zeroth generation as some people call it and we will be going in depth as to what and who they are. Without further ado let's begin. Let's start off with the four members of the solo generation. Takinosora, Robokazan, Sakura Miko, and Hashinichi Susui. And we will include the Inanoka music member, as key. Takinosora is the very first member of Hololive production. She is an easygoing, happy and comforting person whose personality has led many fans to call her Takino Sora Mama because of her motherly attitude. Within the group, she is the member who closely fits the image of a proper idol. And yes, closely. Other members are known for being more chaotic than her. She loves horror games which quite ironically does not scare her. When I meant by ironic, it's because horror games are supposed to scare you. She also loves rhythm games. She is not very good at rote learning and dodgery. Because of her musical and dancing talent, she has published several covers, including collabs with fellow members and even the release a debut album with a major record label. One of her dreams consists of holding a concert at the Yokohama Arena. Sora has two friends, which I assume you know them by now. Yuijin A, well known as A-chan, is the person in charge of the technical aspects of Sora's liver streams. She was originally talked about or featured in a few vids, but illustrated only as a roughly drawn woman's face with glasses and a hair tie. She received a full design on July 2018 and started her own Twitter account on November of the same year. And recently, the 7th of September, 2020, she got a new 3D model on the same day as Sora's third anniversary debut. Ankamo, the walking teddy bear who accompanies Sora and mimicking her movement during streams. He is frequently depicted to being buried due to technical difficulties that made him clip into the ground, looking like he is buried. Sora only has a 3D model, but has received different outfits throughout the years. She still uses her standard outfit on streams and vids which better fits her description as an idol. On the 27th of November of 2019, she made an appearance on Hololive's collaboration with Azalane as one of the characters, alongside Nakiri Eme, Okamibio, Natsuro Matsuri, Murasaki Shien, Minato Akra and Shirakami Fubuki. On the 28th of January 2020, it was announced on Denajiki Online that she would make an appearance in the game Niptunia Virtual Stars as one of the VTuber guest characters alongside Roboko, Sakura Miko, Shirakami Fubuki, Minato Aqua, Yuzuki Choko, Inugami Korono, Shirigane Noel, Haushao Marine, and other virtual YouTubers. A little trivia about Hololive and Takinosora. Initially the company was to focus on AR VR technology, but then this is where they arrived at. Sora became the very first member of the group and was mostly the one that carried the group in the first few months. According to fans, her very first stream consisted of 13 people watching at that time. They were then considered as the 13 knights of the round table. And that those 13 knights were the staff. Roboko then came along which sort of I would say, eased her struggles a bit. Sora was a part of the cast of Watanuki Sanchino, a TV Tokyo Dorama, along with Hibaki Ayo and Saruga Kacho Futaba, for short. Sora is an idol, and nothing will convince me that she is not. Roboka Zanora Just Roboko is the second member of Hololive production. She loves to pose and play games like Ark, Apex Legends, Fall Guys, etc. She has a very calm voice, sort of perfect for ASMR. And speaking of ASMR, she does ASMR streams sometimes. Just like Sora, 
She only has a 3D model, but also received different outfits throughout the years. On the 12th of January 2019, she debuted as a DJ at Ray Animation 13. On the 4th of April 2019, she made an appearance in Hololive's collaboration with Dawn of the Breakers where she was the central character and the first ever Hololive VTuber to appear in the game. Despite appearing alongside Shirakami Fubuki, Uzora Subaru, Minato Aqua and Yuzuki Choco, the first two events were called the Robokas and X Dawn of the Breakers crossover. She will also be appearing in the game Niptunia Virtual Stars, as stated earlier. She showed her setup and damn IT looks amazing. Also she has a cute Kato. If you have already noticed, she is a part of the official Hololive subreddit as one of the moderators. For short, Roboco is ASMR and gamer material. Also Roboco is cute, you can't convince me she is not. I was just editing this video and this video was uploaded by Roboco. Now this is a great example of Roboco's cuteness. You will never change my opinion about her. Never. Hashimashi Susui was an independent VTuber before joining Hololive and the Live 2D model that she used at the time was made all by herself. She then became an official member of Hololive on the 29th of November, 2019. She is a modest, multi-talented singer and aspiring idol who is among the more level-headed members of Hololive. After her unexpected performance as a traitor in the game Project Winter, she gained a reputation for being a remorseless sociopath behind a facade of polite sweetness. Or psychopath Susuri for short. <laughs> Anyways, she started off as a member of the VTuber group, Signal, but then graduated from it and proceeded to go independent. She appeared as a surprise guest on Azki's first live on the 19th of May where she performed her second original song. Thank you. It was then announced that Azki and Susuri would be affiliated with Inonoka Music which is a music label under Hololive. She was then transferred from Inonoka Music to the main branch as a part of the solo generation. She then received a brand new Live 2D model on the 1st of December, which was debuted on the same day on a stream. That stream is her first stream as an official member of Hololive. She is the only member of the solo generation, at the moment, who has both a Live 2D model and a 3D model. On the 17th of September, 2020, Susuri will have a collaboration with the game Vanguard Zero where she will appear as a character in the game. The collaboration event will end on the 26th of September, and if you plan to play it then may RN Jesus bless you. Also, a well known fact, she is a pro in Tetris. She fought against the second best Tetris player in the world on stream while playing Tetris 99. Viewers also noticed one the top one Tetris player and watching her. She didn't notice until after the game. For short, Susuri is a fucking s- Sakura Miko is the third member of the solo generation. She is a self-proclaimed elite gamer who is somewhat melodramatic and tends to become emotionally attached to NPCs and inanimate objects. Fans use the term elite ironically to highlight her questionable decision-making skills, as well as her tendency to speak garbled nonsense punctuated by the occasional f-bomb.
Thank you. Thank you. She specializes in role-playing games, but much of the humor on her channel stems from the fact that even while playing graphic and violent games like GTA, she rarely takes her role seriously. Miko's Niar Hello greeting is a reference to why you is greeting your hello. Do you want something that is nearly as chaotic as Pakora? <laughs> she might do well for you. Since the 12th of April, 2019, she hosts a monthly variety show in the reality app called God Summit which is a collaboration with her co-hosts Kazemina Matsuri, Sister Claire and Tenjin Kotonet. There are currently 5 episodes in total, with some of the episodes archived in their respective YouTube channels, with one episode archived in the Reality Studio channel. On the 12th of September, 2019, she made an appearance in Hololive's collaboration with Dawn of the Breakers as one of the characters with Akai Hato, Natsuro Matsuri, Shirakami Fubuki, Nakari Ayame, Uzora Subaru, and Okamibio. This is not like the first collab they had. She announced on the 22nd of November, 2019 that she would be voicing Kuriko in 100% Orange Juice. And as stated earlier, she will be one of the guest characters making an appearance in Niptunia Virtual Stars. For short, Sakura Miko is elite. As Ki is a member of Inanoka Music which is a music label under Hololive. She became a part of a music label with Hashimachi Susui, where Susui was then transferred to the main branch. Apart from singing, she likes to browse the internet. She also regards herself as a person with persistence that keeps putting effort on her abilities. She started to be represented by the Agency of Virtual Talents, update, along with Yoruno Neon on the 14th of February, 2019. She then held her a first live concert on the 19th of May, where it is was announced that she would be joining Inonoka Music with Susui. She had only to 3D models so far and received a few outfits, but for sure will receive more in the future. She has 7 singles to mini albums, and 1 full album. If you want to check out each of the songs, then consider going to her channel or refer to the list that is on the fandom wiki for ASCII, for short, ASCII is cute. So that's all of the Hololive VTubers of the solo generation and in Anoka music. If you want to know more about them, you can check out the fandom wiki of each and every one of them. They will be all linked in the description. If you would like to see the next one, leave a like and a comment for more. And obviously, the next one is first generation. See you in the next vid. Have a good day.